And now joining us with more on the unfolding events around Iran, Dr. Martin Sherman, the founder and executive director of the Israel Institute for Strategic Studies. Dr. Sherman, as always, thank you so much for joining us. Good to be with you again. Okay, so, you know, my first question is, how will these new sanctions, these new movements of, uh, you know, the U USS Abraham Lincoln and all that into the Persian Gulf, into the Straits of Hormuz, how is that going to affect Iran and their oil exports and really their economy overall? Well, I think the first thing to realize is that there's never going to be some sort of consensual resolution that's acceptable uh, to the Iranian issue that will get them to back away from their nuclear weaponization uh, desires and uh, their international mistakes. Are we not even, are actions like this not even driving them further towards such aspirations? I don't think so, because if you remember in 2003, the Iranians basically shut down their their nuclear program because of their concern with the, the, the American presence in Iraq. It was only after that they were reassured that this wasn't going to be used against them that they, that they renewed the program. Um, so, uh, you know, the, as I said, there's only going to be a coercive solution. Now, the question of will it be coercive and kinetic or coercive and non-kinetic. By non-kinetic, I mean, will the Iranians back down themselves because they feel that they cannot afford to take the chance? Um, you know, I, I've been saying time and time again that the only way to get them to back away from their nuclear uh, ambitions and, and their support of terror across the globe uh, is by biting sanctions, which seem to be working now, and uh, backed up by a, critical, uh, a credible military threat. And if this U.S. build-up there is turning into, is emerging as a credible threat, then it may just be what's needed to bring the Iranians to the table. You must remember that Iran is not in a good situation. The, the, the economy is collapsing. The, uh, the IMF has predicted that their, G, that, their, uh, that their GDP will contract by 6%, which oh. is quite dramatic. Uh, they have a huge water crisis. Um, uh, the, the currency is collapsing. So it's, it's not that really that they're, that they're in a strong position. Um, so might know, a war actually even bankrupt the country? Is that something that they really just can't afford fiscally? Well, or is that I'm something sure. that maybe they're hoping for? No, I, I, I don't think so because, you know, America has proved time and time again that they can bring down just about any regime with air power and special forces. They did that in Afghanistan. They did that in Iraq. They did that in Serbia. The problem is I think the Americans misunderstood the difference between deposing a regime and replacing a regime because they proved they can depose any regime with very little cost, uh, both in terms of treasure and in terms of, uh, of casualties. But then replacing the regime. But replacing the regime is a whole new successes. science, and I think that's where they miscalculated. Yeah. Now, I, I think in Iran, that's probably less of a problem than it is, say, in North Korea or in, or in Afghanistan, because in Iran, basically, you have the skeleton of a well-developed civil society. And I think it's, it's, it's almost certain that the that any regime that succeeds the Ayatollahs will be more amenable to to the West. That's assuming that the West doesn't go in with you know guns blazing. No, that, no, that's I, I don't think because because you, you know basically what, well, because I, I think because because one of the things that propped up the Iranian regime as we know it today was kind of this hatred of of the West having overturned the Iranian government in the first place. So no, I don't, I don't think so. I think I think that, I think that was was something else. But 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 I, I think the initial. Attack if it would be to be against the infrastructure, against dams and bridges, uh, roads, airports, power stations, ports, and things like that. So I, I don't uh, to 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 you know, to bring down the regime. I don't think you have to actually uh, occupy uh, Iran. You have to bring it to a stage where the the, the opposition there can is strong enough, or the or the, the regime is weak enough for the opposition to take over. Dr. Sherman, thank you so much. Thank you.